today we're going to be looking at how do we simplify algebraic fractions. Before we get into simplifying algebraic fraction, let's review how we simplify our basic fraction. Right? If you look at the do now here, we have 12 over 15. We look for the greatest common factor that goes into both the numerator and the denominator. In this case, it's 3. 3 goes into 12 four times. 3 goes into 15 five times. So 4 fifths is the simplest form of this fraction. Now let's take it one step further and do it with an algebraic expression. Before we do anything, let's look at this example. 4x plus 12 over x squared plus 3x. Now this is the first time that you're seeing algebraic fractions. So it can be a little intimidating. But we're going to solve it just the same way that we solved this basic fraction. The first step is going to be exactly what we did over here. Find the GCF, or the greatest common factor, of each expression. So you're going to find the greatest common factor of the numerator, then we're going to find the greatest common factor of the denominator. So in our numerator, we have 4x plus 12. Well, just like in here, 4 goes into 12 three times. 4 goes into 4 one time, so we can pull out a 4. Now we factor x plus 3. Okay, now let's look at our bottom. x squared plus 3x. Well, our common term to factor out is going to be that x. Then we have x plus 3. Alright, now we go to our second step, which is cancel out any common terms. That's going to allow us to reduce the fraction. So cancel out our common terms, which is x plus 3. Cancel, cancel. We are left with 4 over Alright, so our answer in simplest forms is 4 over x. So to review what we did, the first thing you do is you find the greatest common factor of each expression. Then you use that to factor the expression. You do that for the numerator and the denominator. Your second step is cancel out the common terms to reduce. Okay? And then you simplify. When you cancel, you're left with the remainder and the numerator and the denominator. And that's your final answer. Alright, what I want to do now is look at this practice question. We'll do this one together, and then you're going to complete your worksheet together, on your own, separately. Alright, so you have 2, alright, x minus 8. Now we know from our factoring unit, this is a perfect square. So that goes into x minus 8, x plus 8. Alright, we cancel our common terms, and now we're left with 2 over x plus 8. Now you cannot reduce this, because this is a term. These have to stay together. Okay, what I want you to do now is take your worksheet that I gave you, and I want you to complete questions 1 through 5 on your own, and then we're going to go over them as a class. 